Hi guys, so I know that one of the reasons you watch my channel is because I bring you that random, out of left field, where is this coming from stuff that no one else covers, but this one, maybe someone out there has been interested in this topic. If so, it's for you, but I promise you it's, it's interesting. So um, yeah, go ahead and uh, join me for this topic. We're going to be talking about Titanic and Call of Duty. Yeah, of all things. So I don't know why I was thinking about this. It was a few weeks ago, I was randomly thinking about like, huh, you know that Black Ops 4 Call of Duty map, the zombies map, um, that was a really, really well done level. It is set on the Titanic and it's about these four treasure hunters that are chasing after this artifact that has the power to open portals and destroy the world and it gets activated and it transforms everyone on the ship into zombies. And I remember when I first played this map, I was enamored with it because I love the Titanic and I also like creepy things and despair and tragedy and destruction. <laughs> so it was like a good combination of all of that. And I wanted to do a topic on it. I was like, I want to do a video on this level, but I don't really know what, what the subject is going to be. So I started out thinking I wanted to compare how accurate Voyage of Despair was to the original titanic so as i'm looking into this i find this company called vintage digital revival and they have been working on this project since 2014 called titanic honor and glory and they have a demo out so i tried it and i was speechless it is just breathtakingly gorgeous meticulous perfect flawless this is the closest we are ever going to get to titanic it is the most incredible recreation of something I think I've ever seen and then I had this genius idea why don't I take the Call of Duty Voyage of Despair map and put it side by side this honor and glory demo and it was amazing the rooms and the hallways and the floors and all these locations lined up perfectly and it was amazing to me and yes I know that the designers have access to the same original floor plans and photos that exist but in terms of like the color schemes and being able to recreate them and the textures it was amazing to me to see how similar they were and these two games that were made for entirely different reasons are so similar and it's just it's really incredible to me. I don't know, I'm easily entertained by things like this. I don't want this to be a kind of like, oh, who did it better? Because obviously Honor and Glory is like the most accurate representation of Titanic ever to exist. And Voyage of Despair is a Call of Duty map. So I don't think it's fair to compare the two in that way. Like, oh, who did the Titanic better? But I wanted to now talk about how incredible it is that these two, these two different motivations were able to recreate something that is not only done extremely detailed and accurately but they ha they have a very different feel to them so titanic the actual titanic was an absolute behemoth of a ship it was i mean as the name titanic it was huge it was this never done before ocean liner architectural feat over nearly uh, you know nearly 900 feet long just never been done before and so for for voyage of despair to say you know let's take this zombies map and recreate the titanic that in itself was extremely admirable and that's that was a feat in its own because you have to take this ship that's nearly 900 feet long turn it into a level make it playable and make it accessible and when i played honor and glory and i got to see these massive hallways that just go on and on and on and then you go back to voyage of despair and you don't see these long hallways you see them very reduced and they're kind of they turn into other things that to me was so impressive because you have to take this this long long ship this really long ship and make it much smaller in terms of the length but but still have it feel very big and very, you know, there's all these different rooms and compartments and these staircases. It was just, that makes it so much more impressive to me. And the fact that Voyager Despair feels very lived in and very realistic given like the zombie apocalypse setting, but all of the little details, the minutia and the books and the little teddy bears and the food and the cutlery and the utensils, everything about it is so well done and so thoughtfully placed 
that it deserves some recognition. I think that, I know I'm at least like this, with level design, it's so easy when something is bad and it's janky and it's broken and it's ugly, we we realize it. We're like, oof, this is this doesn't look good. This doesn't play good. This is really bad. But when something, especially like a level, works really well, I think it's it's so easy to overlook it and just like, oh yeah, no, that was a fun level. And not really realize like, no, this had to work, like trial and error to make it work, to make it flow like this. And so this Voyager Despair map, I think the reason that it just stands out to me is because they had this task of recreating the Titanic as big as it was, scaling it down, but still keeping the size and keeping all of the detail of it, all of the different decks, and really just kind of recreating the ship, but more than that, just remixing the ship in a way. Just, I don't know, I, I wanted to bring some attention to this map because I feel like it's so tucked away. It is literally just like a Call of Duty Black Ops zombie map, and that's where it stays. It's sort of just this Easter egg within this other game that I don't know how many people have actually heard about it, seen it, and I wanted to bring some attention to it because I think it deserves some recognition, especially putting it, putting it up alongside the Honor and Glory demo. And the Honor and Glory demo is just amazing, by the way. Definitely go explore that if you like the Titanic or if you just like, you know, to walk around pretty places. Um, but putting it side by side, that I think it just made me appreciate it even more for what they were able to do with it. Okay, so that's it. I told you this is going to be a really random video, but I hope you enjoyed the topic and looking at everything with me. And if anything, I've helped someone out there appreciate or have made it aware to you that Voyage of Despair exists and it deserves some recognition. So thanks for watching. And if there are any levels out there that have really stuck with you and are really impressive definitely let me know in the comments i love reading what everyone has to say and just fyi i'm starting steel rising tomorrow i'm going to be streaming it over on twitch so i'll have my information in the video description but that game looks also incredible just like everything up my alley like french revolution automatons destruction yeah i love it i love all of it so yeah, all right. Thanks for watching again, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.